Okay, Ross, go for it. Hey, what's up, RJ? Um, you've been around Caleb for so long. What are your thoughts on his big shots late? And can you speak to his confidence as a shooter in big moments like that? Um, obviously, he didn't have the greatest game, but it really came in and hit the big shots when it mattered most. Yeah, I mean, he was able to step in, uh, hit a, a couple of big shots when we needed them. Um, and that just speaks to his confidence. Uh, so, you know, I'm happy for him. And then he got the win. So I'm also happy about that. See ya. RJ, uh, Coach Davis talked about um, the togetherness and the, and the chemistry on the team right now. He felt like it's as best as, as good as it's been at any point this season. What, what are your thoughts on just how what it took to get to this point chemistry wise? Like what what's different about it now as opposed to any other point in the season? I think we we were all able to buy in and uh, into what we want as a team, and I think that was able to carry on over to the team chemistry. You can see today how we were able to share the ball. Um, we really didn't care about who got the shots, who had the most points or whatnot. It was more about just getting the win. Uh, and I think that's um, been huge for us. It's also been huge for us in practice. And I think when we, you know, sharing the ball in practice and, you know, we're having fun off the court as a team, it carries on to, into the game of play. Gregory? RJ, was there... Was in the back of your mind or, or any talk about what this game meant as far as implications for the tournament and, and securing the double buy in the ACC tournament? Because it seemed like there's a lot of passion when you hit that three in, in overtime there. Yeah, I mean, that def definitely was. I knew what was at stake for this game. And on top of that, I'm a competitor. I love to win. I was a winner my whole life. So each game, um, I love, uh, I just go out there and just compete uh, and just try to get the win. I knew that if we, you know, win this game, would be and good standards for, you know, ACC uh, tournament. So that was also in the back of my mind, but also just to win for our seniors. You know, their last year, last time playing here, um, home game for the remainder of the season. So that was also on my mind, just trying to get a win for them. Anybody got one last question for RJ before we go? If I could jump in here, Matt. Um, yep. Go RJ, could, could you kind of elaborate on, on – uh... On Caleb as, as a shooter and a confidence, I know I kind of already asked it, but I was wondering if you give me a little bit more on just the confidence he exudes when he shoots the ball. Uh, yeah, um, he, I mean, he's a tremendous shooter. Um, you know, I think uh, he's put a lot of work uh, into the, the off season for him to be able to shoot the ball and whatnot. So I think that's you know instilling his confidence. Um, and uh, he made big shots tonight. Thanks. RJ, could you talk about the five three-pointers that you made tonight? Yeah. The one in overtime that gave us an eight-point lead? Yeah, I also made five three-pointers in a big shot as well. Um, I'm also uh, a confident shooter. I'm able to step in and make big-time shots, and I think I did that as well. I have what, five three-pointers tonight? Yeah, five three-pointers. So a big one in overtime. So I guess that speaks a lot uh, for me and my confidence as a player. So. Thank you. Thank you, RJ. Thanks, everybody.